Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am April Sunny, and today is a little bit of makeup and hair therapy. With so much going on in the world, it just seems like everyone is at odds. I have been in the house like for so long with my daughter, you know, trying to be super mom and trying to still keep her mind active. So, you know, being the the mom, the chef, the teacher, the employee, the content creator, the wife, the maid, like I'm wearing a million hats and I know you guys are too. And today I just wanted to sit down and do something for me, which was just a little bit of makeup and hair therapy. And you know, this is the look I came up with. I had no idea what I was gonna do, but I have incorporated some new products um, within my routine. I just kind of went with the flow of things and yeah. Comment down below how you guys have been able to take just a small morsel of time to yourself with wearing so many different hats during this pandemic. I hope you guys are being safe. And if you like to see how I created this look, then keep on watching. Okay, so I'm definitely not gonna talk too much in this video, but I am starting out with my Ride or Die Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. Even though I didn't show the camera, I am using my Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. I'm using a bit more than I would for a regular work day and just blending that in. I'm just gonna use my loose powder right under my eye and then go in with the perfecting powder right on my cheeks. Someone in the comment section of another video asked me about my eyeliner. So yes, it's NYX White Liner. So I'm just going to go in with the L'Oreal True Match All Over Powder. I feel as though this powder is just as good as any high-end all over face powder. Drop a comment down below if you agree or if you prefer the higher-end powder. So I finally got my eyebrows threaded for the first time since the shutdown. So I'm just gonna go in and fill in my eyebrows with Brownie Bite. This is my favorite step in doing my makeup and that's just applying the highlight to certain areas. It just makes the entire look just pop. Here 
I'm just taking my Plumberry liner and just filling in my entire lip section with this lip pencil. So from my Lorac Pro palette, I'm just going to use the color rose in my tear duct area and then in some areas where the sun naturally hits just to brighten that up a bit. Okay, so this face is almost done, darling. I just want to top it off with another layer of the hydrating spray just to set it. hair is really dirty but I wasn't ready to wash it starting with my styling potion I am just going to make sure I hit all of the necessary areas that dry out the most which is my edges the center of my hair and the ends of my hair so I'm going to use the styling potion on that. This styling potion is super hydrating, you guys. If you haven't tried it, certainly try it out. next step is to use some oil on top of that I always and will always choose to use coconut oil because my hair loves it so I'm just gonna go over the same steps the same areas with my coconut oil gathering my hair into a high ponytail and using a silk scrunchie once that is completed I'm just going to start shaping my hair and using hairpins to kind of set it in place shape the way I like it I'm then going to go back in with some pearls I got from the craft store I just put that on hairpins and I kind of just stick it in my messy bun That's it guys. <laughs> I really hope that you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell because that notifies you each and every time I upload a video. So don't forget to do that. And until the next time guys, be love.